Okay, so we've got a problem here about half-life. Why don't you pause the video, try it out on your own, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we're told that after three days, a sample of radon has decayed to 58% of its original amount. How long will it take the sample to decay to 20% of its original amount? Okay, do not round any values until the last step, all right? So no rounding until the last step. There are many approaches to half-life. I'm gonna use a base of a half, though. I feel like it's most intuitive. So if you have some mass after some amount of time, m of t, and that equals the starting mass times a half, you're gonna multiply it by half over and over and over again uh, based on the amount of time that has passed, and divided by the length of a half-life. Right. This formula, we've talked about it many times, it's how we go about doing this. Now here in this case, m of t, which is the amount of uh, the material we have left, we're told is 58% of the original amount, so times m sub 0. m sub 0 is your starting amount, essentially. We're multiplying that by a half, and I think they tell us, yes, three days have passed, and we don't know what the half-life is yet, but uh, we should figure that out, right? That'll tell us what's going on here. So now to solve this, I would divide both sides by the starting mass, which is really cool because that reminds me, oh yeah, we don't even need to know what that is because it cancels out. And then we have 0.58, which equals, I'll write 0.5 or 1 half to the 3 over h. And then I take the, I'll take the log of both sides. What log should I take? Any log, right? Take log base half, log base 10, whatever works for you. I'll just, I'll convince you by taking the log base 10 of both sides. Equal the log, now the log base half would cancel out faster, but maybe that's a little bit more difficult. Maybe you have a TI-83, so I'll show it this way. Now what do we do? Well, laws of logarithms tell us that this exponent can come in the front here. So let's do that. And it will give us 3 over h times the log of... 0.5, and that equals the log of 0 0.58. Now, if you want to solve for h in this situation, what might you do? I'd probably multiply both sides by h, okay? Both sides by h. h times the log of 0 0.58 equals 3 times the log of 0.5. And then I would divide both sides by the log of 0.58. So 3, 3 times the log of 0.5 divided by the log of 0.58. And this, I'm going to leave this because they're telling us not to round anything here. So instead of calculating this, I'll just store this as a value on my calculator. I'll store it as value A. And here's what that looks like. I go 3 times the log, nope, 3 times, let me come down so you can see, 3 times, again, 3 times the log of 0.5, enter. Divide that by the log of 0.58, enter, and we get a value. I press store down the bottom left as, I'll store it as alpha A, and now I have that value stored. And what am I going to do with that value? Well, our formula tells us that if we want to find when it's going to be 20% of our value, it's 20% of our starting value. It's going to be the starting mass times a half to the power of a t over h, or in our case, h is a, we're saying. So t over a. Now we're solving for a here. What do we do? We divide both sides by the starting mass. And then we have... Um, 0.2 equals 0.5 to the power of t over a. Take the log of both sides. I'll use the same log as before, log base 10, equals the log base 5 of t to the a. Log base, no, log base 10 of 0.5 to the power of t over a. Now here, again, I can bring down that exponent. So t over a times the log of 0.5 equals the log of 0.2. That's an A. So now, let's see, I have space to write. Uh, 
I will write over here. A little messy, sorry about that. So if we want to solve for A, again, multiply both sides by A and divide by a log of 0.2. So if I multiply both sides by A and then divide by the log of 0.2 on both sides, I get T times the log of 0.5 over the, oh, I don't want to solve for A, what am I saying? I want to solve for T, I want to solve for the time, right? So I multiply both sides by A and divide by the log of 0.5. So log of 0.2. Right, we get t by itself, so you want to divide by this term on both sides, divided by the log of 0.5. So let's see what we get here. So I have the answer stored, so I'll hit alpha a times the log of 0.2, enter, divide that by the log of 0.5, hit enter, and I get 8.864 days. That will get us to 20% of the original value. All right, I hope that helped.